guys, and today I'm doing a video about Harry Potter. I'm doing a review on the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter. Now, just in case you don't know, I'm the well, Harry Potter fan, the biggest one. Sorry, Melissa, but I won there. But, um, I've done this for my friend mainly, Becky, because she's like not watched it yet. So I thought, oh, I'll do. A to be honest, I just did it because I felt like it, but you know. Um, no, I've read this book about. Whoa, that. Yeah, good man. Um, I've read this book literally seven times. I've read all the books. I've only read The Chamber of Secrets once, though, because. I take a long time to read. I don't know why. I just do. But I've read them all. Yeah. But, um. So. If. Let's talk about the book first, and then we'll be moving on to the film. So, the book is practically about... The thing is, they're the same book. So, I'd advise you to... If you've not read or watched, I think you should watch, because then you'll be more followed. But you need to watch them in order, because it gives away, or non give away. So, yeah, um... So, the book is practically about... So Harry goes camping, and then the Death Eaters spoil this camp because he thinks it's his first holiday and stuff. But then, um, oh, and then he's um, then his name. There's three. So we all know Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Well, someone gets picked out of Hufflepuff, which is Cedric Diggory. Yeah, that's Robert Patterson, really. I mean. He's off Twilight, yeah. Um, he's on there, yeah. And so he gets picked out, and then he's killed. And then there's Victor Crumb from Durmstrang, and then Fleur de Liqueur from the Lovely Ladies of Bow Patton. Yeah. So if you've never read Harry Potter before, I'm sure you might have, but some people just might not. Have. But anyway, it's. Uh, and it's by J.K. Rowling, the best author from Wawa in the world. Okay then, bye. Comment or suggest something, please. Please, please, please. Bye-bye.